But not because she's bad, it's just because I want to give her spank. Not bad. M mommy don't want to spank. No, mommy. Daddy needs a spank. Daddy needs a spank. Mm -hmm. A Noli lizard? Yes. A N O L E. No way, lizard? Uh huh. This one looks just like mine. It's green. I know. That's the type of lizard that you have. I'm just saying you should read about them so you can learn about his life. What they like to eat or they like what kind of... Should I watch the video? I guess if if there is a video. Yeah, there's like three of them. Green, Nole, the best pet lizard. Good morning guys. I just finished doing a little bit of makeup and my hair. I don't necessarily need to, um, but it makes me feel better. I've been kind of in a funk lately, just as I'm sure most of you guys have with having to stay home and everything. I just don't feel like myself. So I figured if I did my hair, um, I just ran the Numi wand through it. If you guys remember my new me wand tutorials from back in the day so i just ran the new me wand through it which is way faster than actually using the curling iron and then um i mean it's not perfect but it's better than what it was that's for sure <laughs> anyways i was just talking to carter on facetime um so and then cooper took the phone for me but he's at his dad's house for a few days and then i will get him uh easter on easter and then monday is his birthday 
So I'm trying to do some stuff to make it special for him since we can't have a party and we obviously can't do anything on Easter either. So I'm just trying to do some stuff to make it special for the kids. Right now I'm gonna go and attempt to make some iced coffee for myself. I ordered a few things like a cold foam maker and a cold brew pitcher. Um, and then I got some moon milk. If you guys don't know what moon milk is, it, most of you probably don't because I didn't know what it was either <laughs> until like a week ago. Um, Aaron had been talking about moon milk and I was like, what the heck is this moon milk stuff? So there's this company in Texas called Summer Moon Coffee and they make this stuff called moon milk. I don't know what's in it. It's like magic, but essentially it tastes like this the milk that's left after you eat all the cereal out of the bowl. So it's just like really sweet milk. So I'm gonna try to make my own cold foam using that moon milk. Um, if you live in Texas, Google summer moon and see if you have one near you. If it does work, I'll also post it on Instagram. Could be a complete fail because this is the first time I'm trying it. So anyways, let's head on to the kitchen and try this out. So this is the picture that I got off of Amazon. It's for uh, cold brew and this is the first time I've made my own cold brew at home. I have bought the store-bought cold brew that's already ready to go but I figured nothing is better than like making your actual own like it tastes better and I'll link this pitcher I'll link the pitcher as well as the frother below but you just pour the grounds into this little filter in the middle here it looks like this and then you leave it in the fridge for like 20 to 24 hours and that's it. So these are the grounds that I ended up getting. Um, I thought that it was just gonna be like regular grounds, but to use this, you actually don't need like, I don't know. I don't think you need a pitcher like this to use that. Um, it comes like this. And so I don't know if you just like drop this in the pitcher. That's what it looks like. But I cut mine open and put it into that since I had like this specific um, cold brew pitcher. I'm going to froth my milk in the milk frother. Now make sure that if you wanna do cold foam that you get one that froths cold milk because some of them only froth hot milk or they make it like hot foam. So if you're used to drinking cold foam drinks like the Cruise cold brew um, that I drink all the time that I recommend, um, you're gonna want one that does cold foam. So this one said it does cold foam. It's got a little setting. It's got like a little snowflake here. So I read the directions. Apparently you push it until the little blue snowflake lights up and that's how you know that it's making cold foam rather than hot. It does have hot options on there if you want hot foam as well. Um, here is the moon milk. It's literally like super sweet milk. I don't know what they put in it. Not, okay, I take that back. It's not super sweet. It's not like you drink it and you're drinking syrupy nastiness. It's like slightly sweetened. It's so good. I don't know what they do, but it's really good. Wow, it's like silent. You cannot hear it at all. That's crazy. Yum. Oh, it's definitely frothy. Okay, okay, don't beep at me. All right, so I'm gonna pour, go ahead and pour this. So now I'm just going to pour my cold foam. Oh my goodness, this looks amazing. Oh, you guys. Oh, and I didn't get shocked. <laughs> if you guys are used to drinking the cold foams from Starbucks, you usually get shocked. I didn't get shocked yet. That's pretty darn good. I will say, if your milk is not sweet, like the moon milk here, you might want to add some sweetener if you're used to having sweetness. So definitely order like some vanilla syrup or the classic syrup and add it to your cold foam or you can get sweet cream, add that to like inside your, um, or like vanilla sweet cream like they do at Starbucks and add it to the milk and then uh, froth it. I think I'm gonna start my own drive through I'll just open up this window behind me and people can walk by and pick up some coffee. <laughs>
So we were sent these adorable little boxes by Glam Thetty Co. And they're different boxes, or they're boxes filled with different balloons um, for activities and games inside since we're all stuck inside right now. So it's like a balloon activity kit. And I'm gonna blow some of these up and uh, play with the boys that way they have something to do right now because they're they're about to go crazy um but they we were sent two different ones this one's like all different color balloons and then i also have another kit which is like boy colors and i'm gonna save this one for carter's birthday which is on monday <laughs> If you have Target drive up where you're at, um, I know that we can't go out and get any Easter stuff, so I've had to Target drive up like my kids' Easter eggs and Easter basket fillers and all of that. But if you're still trying to figure out like Easter day food and stuff, I got these Easter plates um, through pickup for three bucks. There's like 10 plates. Of course, it's just gonna be us here at the house, but um, you can put like the little sides up here. And then I think we may do hamburgers probably for Easter and then like fries or um, side, whatever side we decide to do. But anyways, I know it's random, but I mean, that's pretty much what my entire channel is, just random stuff. <laughs> And then I wanted to show y'all what I was doing for Carter's birthday, but I can't remember where I put his <laughs> any of his stuff. Let me go see if I can find it. Okay, so I found it. I, I put all of their stuff in a separate room. Oh, I didn't even realize how good those match. Wow, go me. Okay, so these little cake um, cupcake toppers are like basketball guys. Basketball guys, I don't know. Um, but anyways, those go, those go on top of the cake or cupcakes, and then I didn't realize how well those matched. So all of this stuff was from Amazon. And then the orange spoons, and then I got the tablecloth to match the blue in these napkins, and then all of the baseball plate, or baseball, goodness, basketball plates for him. So anyways, I know it's just gonna be us, but of course, that's what I, that's why I have to make it even more special because he doesn't get to have a party this year and I'm trying to make everything real special for him. So I'll decorate his table and all of this um, when he wakes up in the morning. And I usually do um, sprinkled cinnamon rolls for breakfast and then he'll probably go to his dad's that evening for dinner and stuff. But anyways, that's what I'm doing for his birthday. I thought I would just sit and chat with you guys. I'm sitting right in front of my bedroom window here. My bed hasn't been made in like weeks. <laughs> what's the point you like get out of it hang out around the house and then get right back in it nobody comes over so you know we're just living the lazy life over here but i thought i would sit down and chat with you guys for a few minutes um cash just went down for his nap it's like around one o'clock i think i put him down and then jeff actually went to go and pick up sydney so Cooper went with him and I think Cooper fell asleep in the car. So I have some time to myself right now because Carter is at his dad's and yeah, it's just me. So um, Carter's birthday is Monday. I think I mentioned that, but I got him a pinata since we can't have a party. Anyways, I got him a pinata. I ordered him a pinata from Target and honestly, I feel like it got pretty crushed and I'm kind of like, I don't typically get super upset about stuff like this, but and I'm not super upset, but it was crushed like the box is looking pretty sad and this pinata is like supposed to be a little bit thicker like if you push this you can tell that it was supposed to be more 
three-dimensional, but it's like squashed. Like somebody sat a really big package on top of it, but it's fine. I'm just happy to have a pinata. So we're gonna hang this outside in the backyard on our trees and let him um, do that for his birthday on Monday. While I'm sitting here with you guys. I think I'm gonna try and stuff this pinata and kind of chat with you at the same time. Um, I know that I haven't been on here lately and to be honest, um, I've been having a little bit of a hard time. I don't do very well being stuck at home. I never have been. I've never been the kind of person that stays home. Every single day I would get out and do something. And so being somebody who already has struggled with depression and anxiety in the, in the past, because of all of the self-isolation stuff, I just feel like for me, um, and I know that for most people, most people are, are not like stay at home all the time kind of people, but I would have to get out every single day. Like my kids and I, I took them to play places. I took them anywhere we could go. I took the kids. Today is a good day. And like I said before, you know, every single day is different for me. Um, I woke up a few days ago having a really hard time. Um, it's just hard to pinpoint what causes it. There's not really anything that, that causes it. It's just you wake up and you realize today's not gonna be a very good day. So I try to take the good days that I have and turn on the camera because even like having something like filming that day really helps to boost my spirits a little bit. Just gives me something to do, something to focus on. And, um, but sometimes there's just nothing that I can do to take my mind off of crew and, and that's okay. Like it's healthy to have like that moment, to have those good cries some days. And so I went and visited him. I had coffee with him a few days ago and, um, that was the hard day that I was having. So I went and visited him for like an hour and then I walked around the cemetery and it was just so therapeutic for me. It's very peaceful at the cemetery. What's really interesting is if you guys follow me on Instagram, the very next day, the next morning, there was a red cardinal and it was at seven o'clock in the morning and I heard this pecking on the window and I I got up and I went into the kitchen because I, I figured it was coming from the kitchen and I saw we have those two little windows in our kitchen and there was a red cardinal pecking at the window and I tried to pull my camera out my phone and film it really quick and then he went away and I just thought like I had this overwhelming feeling that like that was like that was sent by crew it just it just I couldn't shake the feeling and so I told Jeff about it and I was like I couldn't catch him on camera and I was kind of you know, upset that I couldn't catch him on camera, but I didn't expect him to come back the next morning. So the next morning at seven o'clock in the morning, again, the little bird pecked on the window and I was able to video it and I put it on Instagram. At the time, I didn't actually know that red cardinals meant, um, I know there's like a saying, red, if a red cardinal is here, an angel is near, um, or that red cardinals signify, um, you know, someone from heaven is trying to reach out to you or thinking of you and they usually show up at a time when you need them most. And I, I just didn't know, I had no idea. Bef like when I felt that feeling that it was crew and then I realized what red cardinals had signified, it just gave me like this overwhelming peace. Like, and I'm not, I'm typically not the kind that believes in signs to be honest. Um, but that was my, like, that was my sign. Like, and, and the little bird hasn't been back. Um, cause I was okay after that. And so I wonder, you know, if I have another hard day, will the bird come back? Um, and I don't want to have a hard day, but I just truly with 100% of my heart know that that little beautiful red cardinal was sent by crew. Um, I want so badly to jump into a routine on YouTube and I would like to shoot for a goal of uploading one video a week. I used to be a two to three times a week YouTuber and right now I don't think that that is um, going to be like 
feasible for me at the moment. I would like to say that once a week is going to be my goal that I will have a video uploaded. I cannot tell you an exact day, but I'm going to do my very best to hold myself accountable for a video a week. If I don't do that, just know that it was probably a really hard week for me and it was really hard for me to pull out the camera. Um, and I know it's okay to show those hard days, but honestly, it's not about showing the hard day. It's just about, I just wanna shut the world out and just be, just be. Are some of those balloons these are big balloons from that kit i was trying to find a light so that i could show you guys better um here we go so this is the entryway table i talked about it on instagram but i didn't obviously haven't talked about it here so right when you walk in the door um i decorated this entry table it's from wayfair and it's really, really nice. I would definitely recommend this. The reviews were so good. If you're looking for an entryway table or um, like a console table, if you're looking for a table for behind your couch or pretty much anywhere, this is so good. It took me like 30 minutes to put together and the quality is great. So anyways, I'll link that below if you guys wanna get one of those. But I did order my uh, runner here from Amazon. It was one of those purchases where it said it was going to be here like two weeks. You know, it was going to take two weeks and it was here in like three days. So just throwing that out there. If it says it's going to take a while to be shipped, it doesn't really take that long. Um, but it is a Loloi, L-O-L-O-I. That's how you spell it. Rug. And that's what a lot of my rugs are. But I like and that um, they kind of disguise dirt pretty well. So coming in from the front door, like typically everybody takes off their shoes either here or in the mudroom area. I have on shoes right now only because um, these are kind of shoes that I typically wear indoors. So I just walk around in these or my slippers and then I you know, wear different shoes outside or whatever. But um, so yeah, the stuff that I got to decorate this is mainly from Target, to be honest. The lamp is from Target, and this is from Target, Target, baskets from Target, throws from Target, pills are from Target. The uh, tiny little fiddle leaf here, it's not tiny, but it's like, I don't know, three feet. Um, it's from Target as well, and then that was from Target a while back, and I just put all of those, um, what are these called? <sighs> Why can't I think? Lamb ear, I think. And then I've got like a bunch of stems. I stuffed them in there. And then this circle mirror is also from Target as well. Um, and I love these circle mirrors. I have two in my house so far. I'm trying to talk myself out of buying a third one for over my bathtub. I just love the way that they look. So maybe this will give you a little bit of inspiration if you guys don't know what to do at your front door. And then these are just some pretty coffee table books. I can link these below as well, but um, you can either find all these on Amazon or on Target. And then the candlesticks were from Home Goods. And my favorite part of walking in the door is that you can see this sign. This is from Harper Grace, and it says, Those we love don't go away. They walk beside us every day. It's probably my favorite piece in the house. And I love that when you walk in, like, it's the first thing that you see. So um, I can link this below as well. I can link her shop. Her work is absolutely stunning. We have a picture up in the bathroom. It says so fresh and so clean and that's by her as well. But the quality of her pieces are like outstanding. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. The day kind of got away from me. Like I was filming all day really well and then we went outside and the boys took a bath because they were disgusting afterwards and now just, it's like almost bedtime. I'm gonna paint my nails tonight. One of these two colors. Uh, either bikini so teeny or perfect posture so I'm gonna use one of these colors and I'm gonna go ahead and take a bath um, my favorite part of the day so anyways I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here I hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you are new and I will see you guys on the next vlog bye